with retired and road tripping. No Dave this trip. We're in near Owensville. We're about two or three miles out of Bland, Missouri. We're at the Can Am Conservation Area. Trees are turning. Really pretty. I've never been here. Put those windows up so you can better. You can tell that Dave is the one that does all the details. I forgot the map and the truck. I don't know how many acres are here. I do know that camping is allowed. And that's why I'm here checking it out for future uh, free camping ideas. I know that they have a 10 or 11 mile trail here. I know equestrian, uh, there's horse trails here. So let's just get in here. Let's see if I can find the map. So, and I do think there's like two or three different parking areas. But like I said, I, I'm not prepared like Dave is. You think you can do this alone, but then you figure out who really the brains of the activity is. I'm just the talker and the camera holder. Let's see what we got down here. Big parking lot. I think you can probably camp here if you wanted to. It is so pretty down here. Let's see what this says. Horse trail is closed during firearms, deer, and turkey season. Alright, so you need to make sure when that is. Missouri has all kinds of wacky weekends for deer hunting and turkey hunting, muzzle loading, youth season, pre season, no only. So you need to check if you're going to be like, I don't know, I think it is deer. There's some kind of deer hunting going on right now, so I doubt that I'll do the trail, but we'll see if there's any, uh, any people parked down here. All right, here's the map. Gasconade County, 1,435 acres. They have five parking lots. Here's a picture of the hiking map, 6.4 mile six mile loop a 3.5 mile cutoff and a 2.5 mile loop is in the blue primitive camping is right here where we're at and he found himself some clear clear water look how clear that water is not much of it Enough of it for Bandit to get a big drink. Look how clear it is. You can see it all the way through. Beautiful. All right, the map shows that there is a spring here. So I am on the search. It's a beautiful day. Okay, the spring is here. It has dried up. So let's turn around. Let's go look over here. There's something obviously used to be here because there's a concrete, maybe gate used to be here. Oh, there is water. Let's see if we can find the source. See the water? Yay, spring hunter, I found it. All right, I went farther up stream, trying to find the source of the spring. Oh, it's gotta be up here. We're getting close, hang on. See that hillside right there? I'm gonna, oh man. I don't know if I can jump or not. I can't jump. It's too wide. Hang on. Let me get over there. And I have success. This is where the spring... Oh, this is where the spring is coming up. Right here. Just comes up right there. Out of the ground. All right. I'm going back to the Jeep. It is mossy, swampy back here. 
I'm about to sink. I'm heading back to the Jeep. We're gonna go find that other parking lot. If you, come on, the only way I found the spring is by the map off the parking lot. You just come and find the water source and follow it upstream until you find where it comes up, bubbles up out of the ground up there. Just know that, hang on, let me flip this. It's off this parking lot, but it's bushwhacking. There is no trail. You just find the creek and you have to follow it up. Marshy and it's swampy back there, but it was kind of neat to see. Uh, we are gonna go see if we can find the south parking lot where you can camp for free now. I just turned off Highway Y. Coming back here to see if I can find the south parking area. Isn't it pretty down here? By the map, it looks like we just drive on this gravel road for just a little bit. I think we're in conservation land. Even though I have not seen a conservation sign yet. By the map, it looks like you go from private land to driving right into the conservation land. Still looking for this first parking lot down here. I'm just videoing this so that y'all can see this drive now. Like, this is gorgeous. I might not even be on the right road, and I'm all right with it. Beautiful down here. Parking lot number two says you can camp here. because I'm not sure people know about this. I don't know. Site number four has a big fire ring. And some wood. All right, this one definitely gets used. Just beautiful. Now this, okay. This is the reason why we video these things, mostly for us. We come and scout them out. We get video of it. David's not with me, so now he's gonna be able to see what this looks like. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous down here with the trees changing. Let me flip this. Look how pretty that is. All right. I'm just going to go to the next one. Wait a minute. I'm going to go over here and see if that's water I hear running. The 
this is still the same conservation area they have hiking trails six mile hiking trail a 3.5 spur and I think a 3.5 Nope, no creek dry right now. I'm gonna turn this off for a second, take some pictures. It's gorgeous down here. All right, there's five, there's four, coming into three so that we can see what this looks like with the hammock, the fire ring situation. Okay, there is a fire ring. I really like site number four. We may actually move the truck tonight. No, tomorrow. We may drive the truck tomorrow morning and come down here. We'll see. All right. Uh, I'm going to load up the dog. We're going to drive over to Peaceful Valley Lake Resort. Well, I don't know if it's a resort. It's a private lake that homeowners own. You really have to be a member to be down there but I'm gonna try to slide in there, get some video. Probably shut down the video over there. We'll like and subscribe from Peaceful Valley. We'll see y'all in a little bit. I decided to stop by Owensville and see what Dave was up to. He's unloading a green truck. told us to come and look and check it out so that's what we're gonna do Here at Peaceful Valley Lake near Owensville, a uh, guy Dave's farming for said, Come check it out. There's a bluff you need to see. So I'm back here, dogs back there behind me. It's beautiful out here today. I'm just heading over to the bluff. Here, let me switch it real quick. Fall colors, beautiful fall day in Missouri. Let's see what it looks like over here. to the can and conservation area. Both are near Owensville. Dave is here farming for his buddy and the dog and I are just out seeing the sights and getting some videos of the Gasconade River. Free camping areas. Check out those playlists. It is gorgeous here, Missouri. Fall colors are popping. We appreciate all of you watching, interacting with us. It's been a it's been a fun year so far. We just hit our thousand subscribers and we got plans for the next year. We'll see where it ends us. All right. I'll go ahead and do them both. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like and subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road.